Derwin's going to get a brief amount of training. And we're going to kind of throw him into a bunch of scenarios. And you have a helicopter pushing 20,000 pounds of air on top of you. Hey, the world, Once I got to the water, you know, it was real. See how he responds. See how he works in our team. I'm Derwin James, professional football player, defensive back, all pro, and today I'm training with the U.S. Coast Guard. To come from where I come from, football means everything. My family believed in it since I was four or five years old. In order to be a leader, I had to become a great follower. How are you doing? Thank you, Maria. Welcome to Sector San Diego. Think you have what it takes to make it in the U.S. Coast Guard? I can do that for sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. Derwin James. He's going to get a brief amount of training, and we're going to kind of throw him into a bunch of scenarios, see how he responds, see how he works on our team. I'm excited to meet everybody else here and do what they do. See other people be great. Here at Sector San Diego, our job is search and rescue as well as law enforcement. We have a very dynamic area of responsibility here in San Diego with frequent smuggling activity. We're going to take Derwin James out today and show him how we do pursuit training. Derwin's going to be on our fastest small boat, going to go upwards of 50 knots with him on board, chasing another Coast Guard boat that's simulating a smuggling vessel that's refusing to stop. We receive a report of a target of interest. We launch our asset and then ultimately to gain compliance, disabling fire in order to disengage their engines using our shotgun. Boys, clear! No casualties! Derwin did absolutely phenomenal today, shooting the PLS gun. Most of his rounds were on target. Thank you, man. That's fire, bro. Oh, man. He had a blast on the boat. It was amazing to see that big smile on his face. The pursuit tactics in the boat, that was amazing. The Coast Guard's number one priority is always going to be search and rescue. So I fly the uh, H-60 Jayhawk. Uh, anytime there's a mariner or a boat or a person in distress, uh, we head out there and we do what we can to, uh, to help them out. All right, so this is where we're going to be flying. Dang. You will be going in the water today, in this basket right here. Yeah, OK. Darwin is going to get a little taste of what it's like to be the rescue swimmer, but he's going to play the vital role of being the person being rescued. Coast Guard air crews fly with a crew of four. We'll brief in the flight planning room. There are two pilots. There will be right seats, I'll be left seat. A flight mechanic. And then Q, your cabin. And a rescue swimmer. We'll free fall him out, then we'll put you in our basket. And then to pick you guys up, we'll do the same thing, but reverse. He'll help you back in the basket. He'll take you up, bring you in the cabin, and then we'll pick him up separately. When you bring somebody new into the team, yeah, I'm good. like Derwin today, good we need to get them up to speed to make a mission happen safely. Buckle it up. Yeah. All right, good to go? Good. All right. It's almost game time now. Yeah. It's just like a giant swimming pool with no walls. Everybody on the crew is responsible for everybody else's safety. No, and you're good. a part of the crew. We're good. Man. Thank you. Outstanding. Especially in the Coast Guard, it's just like being on a sports team when I was growing up. I fell in love with that. I wanted to be a part of something bigger than myself. Sports helped lead me to the Coast Guard. A lot of the traits that you see on the sports field or pool, court, translate over to being in the military. All right, here we go know your role, know when it's time for you to be a leader, know when it's time to be a follower. So this is a, as, as close to a live situation as we can get. Cleared for takeoff. Teamwork is the name of the game. That's why we do a ton of training missions. After the helicopter's airborne, once we arrive on scene, we'll assess the situation and come up with a rescue plan. There's someone what we call a PIW, or a person in the water, or Derwin in this case. So in that scenario, we want to get the swimmer into the water as quickly and safely as possible using a free fall so we can get to that survivor as quickly as possible. We dropped into the middle of the ocean out of the helicopter with my partner Joe, my teammate today. I feel like what made me a leader is um, I'm a very high confident person. But then when I got in my basket and then when I got down there, I'm like, okay, now I see why Joe the professional and I'm, you know, still learning. Once I got to the water, you know, it was real. So I swam all through college. Swimming in a pool is one thing, uh, but as soon as you get out onto the ocean, it's a completely different beast. And you also have a helicopter overhead pushing 20,000 pounds of air directly down on top of you. So it gets very overwhelming very quickly. Even if you're a really strong swimmer, people don't know how they're going to react until they're in that situation. How you doing? 
I love this bro. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, tell yeah. my son about it. He ain't gonna believe me. I'm in the middle of the ocean. There ain't no land around. That's definitely a workout. It was a lot of cardio. The waves hitting you until you go through it. it. It don't matter what you tell a person on the fly. You may have a plan coming into it, but the plan may alter. Everything can change in one play. A lot can be going wrong around you, and things can be like off track, but if you just stay in the moment, stay calm, and just being in control of the mind, trust your training and trust the techniques what got you there, you'll be okay. Hey, that water, no joke, I ain't gonna lie. All right. Let's go, bro. You ready? All right. You ready to go back up in the helicopter? Yeah. All right. In the military, every person has a role. Just like football, and that's what makes the mission complete. They made me feel safe, and just seeing them calm helped me be calm, too. Hell yeah, you did good. Oh yeah, once I calmed down, everything settled down, I was good. But at first, I didn't know where I was at, but... Dermot's a great teammate. You know, he has an ability to perform under pressure, and he definitely showed that today. Man, it felt like... It felt like a movie album, like, bro, like... Because you feel the, the wind of the helicopter, you feel like the waves, it's everything, and then once it drops like to the water, it's like, okay, it's real, I gotta get out of here. He quickly was able to get people to rally around him with his great attitude. He got people excited, they were stoked to be out there with him. We are mission complete, we, you know, we saved a life or we stopped something illegal from happening, and we can come home and say, that was a job well done. When I see my son today, man, he's gonna lose his mind. He's three years old, he's into trucks and stuff, so. He's not gonna be able to believe it. Nah, I felt like a hero today, for real. Big thanks to USAA and the Coast Guard for giving me a chance to train with the best. Could Derwin James fit into the Coast Guard? Yeah, Derwin was awesome. He could definitely do that. Yeah, he could be certified to operate on our boat anytime. Our crew would love to have him back on our team at any time. <laughs> today was tough, but with more practice, just like anything, more repetition, I feel like I definitely can do that. I can do that for sure.